Gremlins. It's it's a comedy, so don't if it's not scary, don't make fun of it because it's a comedy. So this inventor purchases this cute little creature for his son, and there are three rules that you need to follow taking care of this creature. Don't put it in bright light, don't put it in water, and whatever you do, do not feed it after midnight. And this inventor's son is Billy Peltzer, who works at a bank and he's pretty much making all the money for his parents. And there's a girl he likes, who's played by Phoebe Cates. And so now we have all these characters just set up, and as the movie goes on, lots of gremlins show up and try to murder everyone and cause mass chaos. Now, as I said before, this is a comedy, and as a comedy, it is very fun. Particularly in the second half, there is some Evil Dead 2 quality moments. Characters are played in a way that is delightfully over the top, but not in a way where it feels silly. It always feels right for the movie. There's the dad. He's an inventor. And that allows us to have all these wacky little gadgets around the house. There's this horrible woman who wants to torture Billy's dog. And she gets her comeuppance and it's awesome. And that character's name is Miss Peagle and Polly Holiday does a great job playing her. Delightfully over the top performance. And there's this other character, he's an old man, and he hates foreigners. Those foreign cars, they don't work. And it's all played for comedy, and the gremlins themselves are always in these hilarious situations. There's one where Phoebe Cates works at a bar, and all the gremlins just come in, they're smoking cigarettes, and she has to serve the gremlins. And the gremlins are playing poker, and they're just, and it's just, it's the best. It really is just the best. We have a great, likable protagonist in Billy Peltzer, and we have a fun, adorable sidekick in Gizmo. Now the movie itself does a very good job of just maintaining the basic narrative strengths of this type of movie. They establish, these are your characters, this is your hero, this is what they're like. They tell you, this is the type of story this is, here are the rules for this story. They give you three rules, and they go, there you are. That's your story. And so you've got a solid movie there, and then on top of that, they put all these great little moments in between. And you know, there's some really fun. They don't, I can't say they look great, but there's some really fun practical effects here. And I want you, and I want you guys to remember that this is a comedy, so special, special effects are not exactly a priority in terms of quality. As long as it's interesting to look at and a fun design, it doesn't really matter if it looks real or not. There are things being splattered across walls and the creatures have a personality in their movements and that's all that matters. And now look guys, this is a great horror comedy. Is it Evil Dead 2? Not even close. But. It is a very funny movie, it has good characters, it has a good creature designs, and memorable scenes. This movie also has a great soundtrack that definitely conveys exactly what the tone of Gremlins is. I'm gonna give Gremlins an A-.